All right, so this week's topic of Amuna Mondays was the paradox around plateau. So it was pretty much like the contradiction aspect around the concept of being content or remaining at that level. And there was like a simple breakdown of the fact that God's intention was never for us to just remain at the same level, standing still. Because that concept doesn't exist when it comes to like Jew Jewish studies or Torah in general. If you're not moving up, you're going down. If you're not going down, you're moving up. There's never a, at a point where you're just standing still. You can't just stand still. Be like, oh, I'm fine with where I'm at. I'm fine with being here. And the minute you hit that stage, you're already falling. And it's something that God doesn't want. So what is he going to do when you hit that stage? He's going to start mixing things up. So most of the time, this applies for when people are... Think good things are coming. They're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm getting comfortable with remaining at this job, at this and this pay, and this, this, everything's going well for me. Let me just continue. And then lo and behold, it's like Hashem comes in and just rocks your world. And you're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And AKA the midlife crisis. Like, why is that such a thing? You're literally at the point where you finally feel like you're kind of, you're getting to the point where you can understand how things are operating, how life's going. And then boom, you just hit that point where you're just like, whoa, what in the world? You just get thrown like a curveball out of nowhere. And the beauty of it is it goes both ways. You have to understand that it goes both ways. That if I'm gonna, if God doesn't want you being content, so when you're content, he's gonna shake your world up to get you to, hey, snap out of it. Let me make, mix things up for you so you can't, so you're not just staying at par or at level. So now you have to understand that the thing goes both ways. If life's just throwing you obstacles and you feel like you just can't catch a break, instead of fighting it and having resentment towards God, Understand that it's it, the reason you're in that stage was because at some point in your life that you were content where God felt like he had to go in and move you around, shake things up for you. So now if you're feeling the opposite, now if you're on the opposite end of it, on the negative aspect, where you feel like you can't catch a break and God's doing this and I'll do that, what's the solution? It's a simple solution of become content with it. It's like reverse psychology to an extent. Like because... God shook up your world because you were content. So now let him get you out of it. Let him calm your world down because you became content with it getting shaken up. So like whatever God threw you an obstacle, like for instance, my accident with like, oh, you know, like my leg and the injuries and this and that. Eventually, I just was like, you know what? If this is going to be my life, then so be it. If this will be my life. I'll live with it. And as soon as I started getting that mindset, things started moving forward for the recovery aspect of it. And that's the beauty of it. That's uh, like... That's just how it works. And it's like, if you understand how it works, if you can't beat them, join them. Like, the games, this is the way it works, so now make it work for you in the best case scenario. So in this case, where you're negative or you feel like you're like life's just throwing things at you, play that aspect in that role of, you know what? I'm Become fine with it. Become fine with the negative or the, the downs. And you'll realize that God's just not going to just open the door, uh, create the doors for you. And give you opportunities to get out of it. At some point, if you just be, remain headstrong with, you know what, this is where I'm at. I'm going to stay here and this is fine. Hashem's going to walk you through the door. He's going to take your hand and walk with you through the door. Not, not just like, oh, I gave you three doors. You have to choose one. God will literally walk you through through the one. And that's a, and it's like a little cheat code to life. And that's what I found that that's just how it works. Like, Don't get content. And, and one of the members in the that joined actually brought up a point and said, how do you get to the point where like you're following and, and you're you're motivating and you're 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 trying to connect to God, but not get at that content level? Like when things go well for you, it's so easy to get content. When when Baruch Hashem has she's blessing you with all these things with with Parnassa or happiness or joy and everything everything's going well for you. You just feel like wow, you're, it's so hard to to not get content and at the same time when you gav all those things it's so hard to remain focused that it's coming from the source which is Hashem and it's not you, like normally when things are going well you start forgetting who, where God is and then only when he shakes your world up do we start acknowledging him when we have like a like a, a crazy thing going on for instance the war going on right now or or a tragedy that happens it suddenly gets a lot of result people start remembering who God is and start praying to him Unfortunately, it's like we need to be traumatized to have recognition to God. 
And then we wonder why there's so many traumas. So like if we can get to the point where we don't need to be traumatized, we just we can be at a, at a peak, at a spiritual high, at, at enjoying life and still know, you know what, give recognition to God. We're going to avoid the whole aspect of, of, of having to have our life shaken up or any shakeups. And that's what we should strive to do. And like that, this person was asking, how do they, how do you get to that point where you, good things are happening, but and you're still trying and you're still connecting to God and giving Him credit, but not getting content with it or comfortable with it as, at the same time? And that, and I believe that it's it's just inner peace. It's not peace. Peace and inner peace are two total different things. I can be at I, I, like I can be calm with something. Like yeah, okay, I'm I'm at peace, which is that sense of like contentment and plateau. But now inner peace is more like. You know, I'm I'm on the grind. I'm I'm staying up to date with everything, but as obstacles occur, let's say I go to my car right now. I went to the car and I turn try to turn it on. The battery's dead. I'm not gonna start freaking out. I'm not gonna be like God, why, why, why? I'm just gonna be like, all right, let me figure it out. Like handle it as it comes. You go as you like. You t handle it as it go as it comes. You're not thinking, preparing things ten ten moves in advance. That's not what you're doing. You're living it in the moment, right there and there. You're getting the most out of the moment, inner peace. And when something happens, you handle it right then and there. Boom. Like that. There's a difference between, it's not like peace, like, oh, I just, you know, it's like, oh, I just finished my job. I'm chilling. You just go home and you just kick back, sit in the backyard. That, as opposed to, I just finished work. But now let me, you know what? I, I've, let me go and attempt to go take it easy and rest. But if something comes up, you're not going to be like, oh my God, I wanted to rest this night. No, it's because you weren't plan you didn't plan out your whole entire day like that. That, like you, you understand, you're just going with the flow. When you go with the flow, there's that sense of inner peace. You have that inner peace of wherever your God's taking you, you're going. If he wants to to break the bat the, the battery wants to die, the battery dies. All right, let's handle it. Uh, you failed the test. All right, study better next time. You just go with the flow. You just understand that it's that's the sense of inner peace, and that's what we should strive for, not peace. Not general peace, because then, yes, when we get general peace, it's so easy that as soon as it gets shaken up remotely, we start asking questions. Why, God? Why are you doing this, this, and that? And, and forgetting the aspect of the fact is we got comfortable, and that's not the goal in life. You're not meant to get comfortable. We're meant to continuously grow. So just keep that in mind and grow at your own pace. There's no set pace. As long as you're moving forward or moving in any direction, that's all Hashem wants. If you're falling, so be it. You're falling. You're human. That's what humans do. We fall. But the fact is, you never fall back. There's never a scenario, and you hear about any scenario where where people are in, like inspirational speakers and that. They're all suffered. They all got over something, a big hurdle, uh, a road bump at one point in their life where they felt that they couldn't. The more inspirational it is, the more struggle it was. And that's the beauty of it. At the end of the day, every obstacle is in front of you is only for the moment, like for the purpose of growing. And as soon as we understand that, Life is amazing, and we can see the amazing things that Hashem does for us. And the big thing is, is when you feel like you're down, just become, the secret is, just become content with it. Take it. Just take it, and you'll see God will walk you through the door. All right, thank you so much. Have a great week. We'll see you guys next week.